All systems are go. T minus 15 seconds and counting. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we have liftoff of Tedris M on the Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41. Tedris M securing space to ground communication for NASA's low Earth orbit operations, including the International Space Station. United Launch Alliance Denver Network Operations Center and Command Control Center. Pump speed and injector pressure is all looking good. Now data coming directly from the rocket. Flight. The Atlas yeah, rocket carrying Tetris uh, M reached supersonic here. speed at 1 minute and 20 seconds into flight. Now passing 1 minute into flight. The vehicle is now 3 miles in altitude and traveling at 1,100 miles per hour. Standing by for max Q. Now max passing Q 1 minute and 15 seconds into minute flight. 32 seconds into flight. Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. One minute, 30 seconds into flight. Now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the atmosphere. The RD-180 has throttled down to 95% thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. This engine thrust profile will continue until the vehicle reaches a program 5G acceleration limit. About two minutes into the flight and of Atlas. now passing two minutes into flight, approximately two minutes remaining in the first stage of flight. Vehicle trajectory traveling right down the middle of the range track looking good. RD-180 engine operating parameters also looking good. Booster engine cutoff slated for four minutes, two seconds after launch. The Atlas V rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 2,600 pounds per second. And vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. Now passing two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. and RCS pyro valve has been fired. Centaur reaction control system now pressurizing the flight levels. Atlas V is now 30 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,700 miles per hour. And now passing three minutes into flight, approximately one minute remaining until booster engine cutoff. RD-180 continues to perform well. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. ULA's Patrick Moore providing vehicle ascent data. Three minutes, 20 seconds into flight. <laughs> 